Well, all right, guys, what I want to talk about this video is um, I'm going to go over the different humbucker wiring configurations um, in comparison to um, a single coil. And the thing we're focusing on here is we're not going to focus on the sound it makes with um, the guitar. We're actually going to concentrate on outside of frequencies, um, electromagnetic frequencies that are coming from other sources in the house and things like that. I don't know if you guys remember in the video that I made not long ago after playing my guitar and I had a lot of hum. And what it was coming from was um, outside stuff in my shop that is causing it to give me a crazy hum that drives you nuts, which that's very common with single coil pickups. So like I said, we're not going to be focusing on the sounds that these things make in your guitar. Plucking on strings, we're focusing on the outside frequencies that are causing the hum. And we're going to look at why humbuckers and how the difference in the wirings on them, how they change that for you. So I've got the regular uh, single coil pickup hooked up, wired up here. And you can hear the hum that's coming from the amp right now just with it just sitting there. Um, and it's not as bad, but if I take this guy and I rotate it, I'm picking up electromagnetic frequencies from something in my shop. Now, if I take this guy and I spin it, you notice you get to a spot where you lose a lot of that hum. And what that means is, is whatever's causing the interference is in line and parallel with this coil right now. And as soon as I turn it back into perpendicular where whatever it is that's causing it is hitting it this way I'm getting the hum now so if we look at our, my pickup the way this thing's wired up I've got my plus or my hot coming right here and it's going through here and this arrow is the direction of that white wire so this white wire comes in goes in and it's wound clockwise and it comes out and goes down my black to my ground and I just got it hooked right up to this quarter inch plug right here I've got the tip going to my positive and the ring right here going to my negative okay so that's what a hum a, 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 that's what a single coil sounds like um, without anything on it now if I add a ground plate to the circuit it can quieten it down just a little bit I don't know if you can tell the difference there or not Maybe you can. I hope you can. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our humbucker. So what I've got now is I've got another pickup just like this one. Same windings, everything wound exactly the same way. One of the misconceptions about humbuckers is, is that you have to wire one uh, clockwise and you have to wind the other counterclockwise. You don't have to do that. You can, but it's not necessary. The thing that to consider when wiring humbuckers is, is you want the electrons to flow in opposite directions on this two separate coils. So if our uh, electrons are flowing this way on this coil, we want them to flow this way on this coil. We want them to go clockwise on this one, counterclockwise on this one. So it's not really as important to the mechanical way you're winding it. It's more important for the way the electrons are flowing, if that makes sense. So the first wiring uh, configuration we're going to look at is series winding. Uh, I would say most all of the humbuckers that you buy are probably wired this way. The reason being is, is they're hotter, they have a lot more output, and um, they do have uh, hum cancellation. So we're going to wire it in that way first. One of the one of the ways I always think of series and parallel is, is if you ever mess with the Christmas lights, and if you ever had a strand that when you lose one bulb, they all go out. That set of lights was wired in series, and it, they depend on each other to for all of them to stay lit. Same thing goes with this. I'm going to show you what I mean right here. Now, if we take our first pickup and we undo it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to plug it up right down here. So we've got our hot coming here. Positive. It's going clockwise. And it's coming out right here. Now we need it to go through this coil counterclockwise. We need it to go this way. So in order to do that, we have to start with our black wire instead of our white wire. Now the only difference in these two pickups, like I said, they're wound the same, they're, everything's the same on them except for the polarities are swapped. This is north polarity, this is south polarity. So instead of starting with the white one, on our second pickup we're going to start with our black one. And if you can just imagine, this is now your positive since it's flowed through here and came here. This is our positive now. And so we're just going to tie right into that one. And now we're going to take our finish right here and plug it in right here. 
Now, you still do hear some hum, but you gotta think too how much more output this has now that it's basically doubled in size. So whatever little bit of hum we have had has been uh, amplified. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna set it up. I'm, I've got it in the same direction that I was a while ago where I had a lot of the hum from um, whatever's in that direction in my shop or this direction. Now I wanna show you what just adding a simple plate in front of it does. So yes, we still have uh, a little bit of hum, but definitely reduced it. So this is with that, and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna go through and do them all in comparison where you can hear them all. So without the ground and with the ground plate. And the ground plate doesn't even have to be really close to it. So now if I take my finger off of it, it gets a little bit louder. I put my finger in there on it, it helps. And to be, it's the same as if you got your fingers on the strings when you're playing the guitar, if it's grounded properly. So that's series. Now, what I was saying about that, about the Christmas lights, if we look at this, you can hear, you can hear the sound. It's got some hum. Um, if I pull this out, it takes the whole, everything out, out of circuit. None of these pickups are making any sound now. All you're hearing now is my amp hum. If I plug it back up, we're back to pickups working. I'm going to add this ground plate in here too. So there you go. Now to wire this thing in parallel. It's very easy to do. We're going to pull this one back out of our circuit and we're going to wire this one back up like we had it. So there's our single coil. I'm going to flip this guy on its side. Now parallel. What that means is we've got we need uh, we've got hot coming right here. It's going clockwise and it's going back to our negative here. We need the same thing but opposite direction so we're going to instead of hooking this white along with this one we're going to hook this black to our positive so i'm going to take this black right here i'm going to bring it up here to our positive rail right there black so we got white positive here to this one black positive here to this one so now our electrons are trying to go this way and they're going to come out right here so this needs to go to our ground so there you go and there is our pickup wired in parallel. I'm gonna stand it up so you can put it kind of in the same direction that the other one was. So parallel. Now let's add our ground to it. There's with the ground. There's without. With the ground and my fingers off. With the ground and my fingers off. With the grandma fingers on so this like i said simulates you having your hands on either the bridge or the strings which if you're playing the guitar you're probably gonna have them on there so you can tell the difference in um, how quiet this guy is so just to review right quick just remember that it's not as important to have these guys wound in different directions mechanically like when you're winding these guys you're not going to wind one clockwise and then wind the other counterclockwise um, you, you can mine them both exactly the same. The thing that matters is is which direction is the electrons flowing. Now one thing about the parallel winding is it's a, it's a lot less output than one wire in series. And if you think about it, you know, in series, you're basically feeding through two coils. And so you're getting double the resistance as you are on this one. This way you're just getting the resistance of the coils um, separately. So you, um, you'll have less output, whereas in series you'd have higher output. But in parallel, they're brighter. Pickups are supposed to, they're supposed to sound brighter. Um, one way to um, build your pickups, when you're, if you're building them, is, is to just wire all these four wires to something similar to this. That's a four-wire four uh, setup, and then you can wire it up to your however you want to. You can do it in parallel. You can put a switch in there, wire it in series. If you flip the switch this way, it goes to parallel this way. If you flip the middle switch, it goes to a single coil. There's just un unlimited ways you can do it by just running these four wires out and marking where they go and how they're hooked up. And by that, what I mean is, is that when you're building your pickup, your humbucker, you don't have to hardwire all these things in here together um, in parallel or in series or however you want to do it um, you can do it outside of the pickup all right we're going to go um, i'm just going to give you some sound clips now the first one's going to be just the uh, um, the single coil pickup by itself um, facing that direction so we have the most hum that's coming from it then we're going to do the series um, same thing and then we're going to do the parallel same thing so here we go this is single coil without the ground single coil with the ground 
It's a single coil with, without, with, without. Here's a pickup wired in series, without ground plate, with ground plate, without, and with. Here's a pickup wired in parallel, without the ground, and with the ground. Without, with. Well, guys, that's basically it. Um, like I said, it's very, um, it can get kind of confusing when you're trying to wire these things and thinking about them. Um, and I'm hoping maybe I helped you out uh, understanding that a little bit better. And a lot of times it helps me uh, helps me to learn how to do this stuff when I teach you guys how to do it. So just remember, it doesn't matter what direction you wind your pickup. What's more important is which direction is the are the electrons flowing. If they're flowing counterclockwise on, or clockwise on this one, they need to flow counterclockwise on this one. And you can do that by switching which one is your start, which one is your finish. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions about any of this stuff or any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Send me an email or however you want to to get in touch with me about it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like. And if you liked it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.